सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लास सो वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर फोर्थ चैप्टर पावर पॉइंट सो टिल द क्लास टिल द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट इंसर्टिंग टेबल्स सो टुडे वी विल कवर अप्लाइंग थीम्स एंड एडिटिंग दैन एनिमेशंस एंड कस्टम एनिमेशन एंड इंसर्टिंग म्यूजिक सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट थीम्स so what are themes i told you about themes in the last class that theme is a set of fonts and special effects is a predefined set of fonts and special effects which you can in uh, provide to your slide okay so it provides attractive background uh, and designs to your slides so how to apply themes uh, you can apply themes from the design tab okay then uh, let's look into book to apply a theme you have, uh, to all the slides if you uh, do this thing the theme will be applied to all the slides and you can also choose some slides to apply the theme into that slides only so this process will uh, provide theme to only selected slides and this process will provide themes to all the slides okay let's just move to our powerpoint so first let us write here class 6 now ms power point now i want to enter new slide the command blank slide one more slide blank slide okay now i have three slides into my power point now i want to provide theme to all the three slides all the three slides then i have to go to home tab sorry i have to go to design tab and here are the themes i have to choose any one let's choose this one okay then see in the second slide in the third slide the theme is provided to all the slides okay now i just okay i press control z that is undo now i want that the theme should be provided to slide 1 and slide 3 only then i should press control key and click on uh, slide 1 and slide 3 okay then these two slides are selected now i go to my design tab and uh, choose a theme so see themes are provided to first and third slide only not to second slide this way you can apply themes okay okay now we'll learn how to edit themes so there are two ways um, either you can change the color of the theme or uh, you can also change the background style so so uh, i have to click here and go to design tab then i can see here two things colors and background style so if i want to change the color then i have to click on this color and let's say choose this one okay see the color is changed okay only the color is changed but the style remains same okay now if you want to change the background style then i have to click on background styles and uh, <coughs> let's just choose this one see here it is applied here so in this way you can change the color of the themes and the background style of the theme okay now we learned about animation this is one of the important feature of ms powerpoint so what is animation so uh, ms powerpoint gives a variety of um, animations to apply to your slides okay so it makes the transition looks beautiful it makes the transition look beautiful okay so what is slide transition okay so the way your one slide moves to other slide is called slide transition so how can we apply slide transition these are the steps to apply slide transition we have to select the slide and we have to click animation tab there in the transi transition to this slide group i will uh, i can see many slides so i can, i should choose one slide from i should choose one effect from there so to apply on the slide so let's do it 
so these are my slides so I have selected this slide and go to the animations tab and these are my effects see these are my effects so let's select this one this one is selected okay for this one I go to the animation tab and select uh, this one okay now if I slide show from beginning see so this design is called animation okay and the way your one slide moves to your other slide in an animated matter manner this is called slide transition okay you can also uh, change the settings of your slide you can change the tra transitions output any sound here or you can change the transition speed fast low medium okay now we we'll learn about custom animation uh, so what is custom animation so you can put animation to your one text or one picture by your own you should not um, select the effect which is given in your ms powerpoint you can do of your own so that is called custom animation so for that see select the object on the slide that you want to animate okay then uh, click the animations tab and click custom animation okay now after this you have to add effect you have to click on add effect and there are four options are there entrance emphasis exit and motion path okay so let's make a new slide by templates So the new slide is created now I want to put a transition effect only to this um, picture then I have selected the slide and go to my animations tab and there is custom animation see there is custom animation so I click custom animation and add effect so there are four options entrance emphasis exit and motion paths so I click on entrance and uh, let's put the effect blind. okay in the next slide again go to the animations tab custom animation custom animation okay. um, and add effect let's say emphasis emphasis and um, grow and shrink okay these are the effects I can put okay. animation in the next in the next slide here or here here are three options three pictures so I choose animation and effect and same motion paths uh, down okay this one add effect uh, custom animation is already selected then exit say our motion paths uh, up okay now let slide show in the slideshow from beginning see the animations are added to the uh, presentation see so in this way you can put your custom animation to your presentation so I, I hope it is clear okay so in custom animation these four effects you have to learn the four effects okay so if you want to make the object enter the slideshow means you have to if something is entering to the slideshow you have to if you want to project like this then you should click entrance option and choose any effect and if you want to means um, project something explicitly means you want to emphasize on something then you should choose emphasis okay and if you want to add an effect to object to make the object uh, to make the object leave okay you want to uh, you want the object to look that it is leaving from the slide then you should choose exit okay and if you want to add an effect that makes the object move in specified patterns then you should select motion paths 
okay and choose a effect from the motion paths okay now we'll learn how to insert music in powerpoint presentation so to insert music see to insert music you have to click on the insert tab and sound like you have learned to insert picture there are two options you can either insert picture from picture file or clip art in here also there are two options you can either um, insert sound from file or sound from clip organizer okay so you have to click on insert and here is sound okay sound from file and sound from clip organizer the sound from file it will access your computer whatever sound is present in your computer you should insert uh, so right now I don't have any sound in my computer so I'm not inserting it okay and next insert sound from a clip organizer okay so here are some sounds so let's select it uh, how do you want the sound start uh, automatically okay then here is the sound then see when I start the slideshow from beginning there is a sound so in this way you can insert sound to your presentation so I hope it is clear and so I think your chapter is finished uh, you have already done your question answers I think so if any problem persists then give me a call or message me regarding questions and I will discuss that okay thanks for watching the video and uh, study and study well at your homes thank you